focus of this part of the text editor talk will be on accessibility. So I've been mentioning there are some reasons behind why we structure things this way. Uh, so we'll look at the structure of this. I have an image. It doesn't have alt text, which is a big no-no, as we'll see. Uh, I have some MTP tags. Those aren't really that great. Um, so let's save this and see if it actually goes through. So I'll save, and sure enough, it didn't. So there are accessibility checks built into the system and that will tell you uh, what the problem was, or at least try to help point you in the right direction. So for this, I can see an image with a link cannot have an empty alt attribute. And so as a result of that error being triggered, it won't let me save the page. Um, you know, link should contain text. So I have a, a link to this welcome thing here, and we'll view it. And the Drupal.org thing says welcome, but I have an, a link that's wrapping this image. Well, if someone can't view the image, uh, now it's become invisible to them because I don't have alt text for one. So I can go and let's you know start working on repairing that. Click into image properties, alt text, and it has to be meaningful. Obviously, screen reader or um, the screen reader needs to read it in a meaningful way. Um, so that will put some burden on the person entering the content, but we can at least make sure you've entered something. So you see that passed because there was alt text and then therefore the link has some context to it. Now, if I just made a link that was on the page, it would still be complaining about it as long as it didn't have any text in it. So I could go into the editor and make a link that has effectively nothing in it. Um, and there's obviously reasons not to do that. So this is good for content that you're creating new and doing those accessibility checks. Uh, let's say you've imported content from somewhere else. Then what you're going to want to do is you have the accessibility test here. And so this will uh, provide inline little contextual clues as well as also it, it kind of helps you learn more about accessibility in general, why you wouldn't want to do something. Um, so in this case, you know, it's saying, hey, text and link should make sense out of context. Um, and so it doesn't know if this is making sense in context. So it's not going to throw an error and stop the page. But you can run the test and see and know, well, hey, I probably should make my links you know, make sense out of context. And so you, then you can read it and say, OK, well, welcome. Yeah, that makes absolutely no sense out of context. Uh, some other ones here. We have checked any text with an image also has an alt attribute. Yeah, I mean, it does that. And these other ones here. Alt text cannot refer to color alone, so it's you know, giving you some information about how to properly write alt text. If an image is purely decorative, the alt text must be empty. And so we don't allow you to have things in here that are purely uh, <laughs> purely decorative. Um, that would be something that happens in the theme layer, and all the themes that ship with Elms um, should be WCAG 2.0. So we don't even have to check that layer. It's just checking the body of content on the page. So let's go back to Material. Another common one, we'll move this camera so that on the slate, is tables. So there's a table button here, and I can make a table. I'll just do a basic one. I'm going to click here, three by three. So I have my grid. Type some stuff in here just to generate the errors, basically. <laughs> and let's save. So if I made just a table, you'll see these are the two most common errors that you get with creation of a table. Data table should contain table headings, which is what the TH is. And uh, they should also have captions. So how do you repair this? So I right click on the table, I get table properties, headers. So let's say the first row is headers. That will solve the first one. And then caption is something describing what the table is. So uh, data table figure one would be an example of that. Summary could be something more like cities by zip code over time. So this is summary is purely something that screen reader would would hit. Um, you know, it's almost kind of giving the person information about what's in the table so they can make a decision as to whether or not they care. Uh, whereas the caption is a good way of referencing it. So let's see what that looks like. And so these are kind of more rendered as bold because they're headings. Uh, we have data table figure one that's opposite there. So let's save, see if we pass our accessibility check here. And we did. So because this plays in the style guide, you see we have a baseline styling as to what that looks like. Uh, the heading is styled appropriately, and then, or sorry, a caption, and then the heading is actually has a different background and a little different font to it. 